If you're someone who likes to study the history of things, this is definitely a book you're going to want to look into. This is the Book of Enoch, and it's an ancient Jewish religious work. It currently is not in the modernized Bible, except in the Ethiopian Bible, which is the only Bible that this book remains in. It's great if you are a scholar of early Christian thought. I'm going to explain a particular section of the Book of Enoch today that is considered controversial. We are diving into chapters 72 through 82, which gives a detailed description of the celestial bodies and their movements. These chapters, known as the Astronomical Book or the Book of the Heavenly Luminaries, is very controversial for several reasons. There's advanced astronomical knowledge. The text describes complex celestial movements and calculations that seem to be too sophisticated for the time it was supposedly written, around 300 to 100 BCE. This has led to a lot of debates about the true authorship and the date of the composition. There are some conflicts with modern astronomy. While some of the astronomical observations are accurate, others contradict our current understanding of celestial mechanics. For instance, it describes the sun and the moon as having their own portals through which they rise and set. The book presents a 364-day solar calendar, which differs from the 365.25-day year we know to be accurate. This has sparked discussions about ancient timekeeping and its religious significance. The Flat Earth Implications Some interpretations of these chapters suggest a Flat Earth cosmology, which has been used by modern Flat Earth proponents as evidence for their beliefs. To find the detailed descriptions of the celestial bodies, you're going to look in the key verses 72, 1 through 37, 73, 1 through 8, and 74, 1 through 17. Happy researching!